This video will demonstrate how to hide and unhide your Blackboard courses. So if you are teaching a course, oftentimes you may want to make the course available prior to us turning them on, or you may want to make it unavailable because it's not yet ready for your students to view the course. To do so, you would click the ellipses either next to or under the course, and then you can choose to open the course, which is the equivalent of unlocking the course so students can access it. Or if you click the ellipses, you can make the course private. What we have found is that some instructors inadvertently hide the course instead of making the course private. This means that it's hidden from your own view. It is not making the course private, so students could still see the course. So to make it private, what this does is it makes it unavailable for your students to access it until you have made the course ready. So if I wanna make it private, I just choose make private. Now, if I accidentally hide the course, what happens is that I can no longer see the course. So when I'm looking at my current courses, it is no longer listed in the full list. And if I come to the term that the course is listed in, I no longer see it there either. So this video is to show you how to find those. So just above where your courses are listed, you'll see there's a filter dropdown. If you click the dropdown menu to the right of all courses, you'll notice at the very bottom, I now have a list of hidden from me courses. This will not show unless I have courses hidden. So if I click that, I will now see the course that I accidentally hid and I can click the ellipses to the right to now show the course. So now under my fall term, I have two courses like I did before. And if I click the filter drop down again, I no longer see an option for hidden courses. So I can tell that I haven't accidentally hit any courses. Now, if you want to hide courses so that you can have a more streamlined, clean look in Blackboard, you're welcome to. I just wanted to make sure you know how to find them again if you ever wanted to go back to an old course to copy content, etc. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.